Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of AP Bassin. Oh, hey guys, welcome. We I had a scone this morning and it was so good. We stopped at Starbucks this morning, but now it is time to do some fishing. First day in Seattle. I'm excited. I don't know what that was about, but we gotta do some fishing for some giant, what kind of salmon are these? King salmon? Coho salmon? What? Right here, look at it. That might just be a zip. Look at <laughs> What is that? It's all over the base. <laughs> Alright, let's do some fishing. All right, we made it down here by the riverside. We've got some jigging rods. We've got some live bait rigs that are with some eggs that are cured overnight. Hopefully, we're gonna get on some fish. I'm gonna do some casting right now with a little chesty on. Oh! Of course, I got the first snag of the morning. What are my options here? Snap it off. What are you thinking? Well, I'm gonna keep moving, keep, keep moving and grinding, grinding and moving, grinding on that booty. <laughs> All right, the first spot was not successful throwing the jigs. Now I'm hiking up the hill, going. I'm gonna go see where Rob's at. I've lost. This is my second one now, or my third one. I've lost two already. What John said, we have all of us have completely failed. Oh, or did you catch one off camera? Oh yeah, like three. three. You guys missed it. Sorry, <laughs> I should have called for you guys. So we are gonna go get some more jigs at the sport running goods store, and I'm actually gonna pick up a fly rod to go back to my days of fly fish for king salmon. I think I can get some if they got some egg sucking leeches. I actually kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, I'll link a video below of my one of my like fifth videos or something. It's hilarious. Me and Rob just watched some of it. And it's me fly fishing in Wisconsin for salmon, so I'm gonna go try and pick up a fly rod like that. All right, there's an eight weight fly rod. All right, got myself a fly rod and everything we need to do some fly fishing. So now I'm gonna have my two rods rigged up. Uh, one of our buddies had to go actually to work, who kind of showed us where the spot was. So now it's pretty much up to us to catch some fish. Now it's up to us to catch some fish. Well, folks, this fish moving. See, what are you, what are you thinking? You don't want to do an audible? John and I are making an audible. That salmon trip was a complete and utter disaster. I'm so out of breath. I just ran up from down there. John and I had this brilliant idea. Rob does not want to leave, so we. Oh, why does he? Rob does not want to leave, so we are going to take an Uber to another lake where. We believe there's a paddle board. Who knows what we're gonna do? But me and John are taking an Uber to another lake that supposedly has smallmouth in it. I bought some smallmouth stuff when we went to Sportsman Warehouse today. I'm so out of breath. These fish obviously are not biting. There's like 15 anglers down there. We haven't seen one fish landed. Rather than bang our heads up against the ceiling, or this car for this matter, or wall, or whatever analogy you wanna use, me and John are gonna go find some fish. All packed up, let's get in this Uber and get out of here. How long do you think it's going to take us? Uh, it says 25 minutes, but there's 25. traffic right now, I don't know. 25? Do you, like you think we can uh, fly over the traffic or no? Uh, well, let's have a night. I'm going to try. You're going to try? Alright, thank you. So, 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 yeah, listen very closely in other words. Emily, are you listening? Oh, I just got paused. Okay, yeah, we already know. It's not ca you can't even use any of this. I don't even know why you're videotaping. Just show this to Rob. No, we got, about, we got about an hour and a half. Okay, so what happened is we literally took an Uber back to Rob's aunt's house and took some kayaks out. 
That's definitely a bite. Oh, I just had a bite. You got a bite? For sure. Hunter, it felt like a bluegill though. I feel like I'm gonna dip. I kind of want to paddle over there, dude. Look at how pretty it is here. It sucks that we were not able to get on some salmon, but I mean, you've got to call an audible sometimes. You can't just get stuck there. We have no depth finder. We have no graphs. We have nothing. Oh. This is so tiring. I feel like we're getting nowhere. We have literally paddled across the whole lake to kind of a less windier bank that looked a little bit steeper. We made the mistake of not looking at like any map of this lake before we went out on it. So we have no clue where the deep water is, where any structure is, where anything is. But we did make the trek all the way, ac all the way across the lake because where we started was very shallow. Fish! Yeah! I don't know. Oh yes! Small mouth! Decent! Oh no, it's a large mouth! Oh my god! Finally! A fish! Come here, fish! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Boom! Oh my god! This fish, I worked for all day, all stinking day, to catch that little largemouth right there. Thank you! Oh, they're clapping! <laughs> but this is the first fish I've literally landed all day. So much frustration, so much rewarding. So much reward for just catching this little fish. All right, here, here she goes. I'm done talking. You broke it? Oh. I literally looked down and my leg was just like that. And I just started to get bites too. Where'd you get them, right out here? I'm still getting bites. I think I did to ruin that. I, I'm not kidding you, it's all this footage. I looked down and it looks like this. I'm like, well, I'm out of commission. Okay, hold on. I wanna just hand line them. Oh, 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 got an idea. <laughs> this is so bad. Nothing we have? All right, I think we got John back in commission. I need to take a cast over here. So we pretty much ended up kayak fishing today. John's floating around in the middle of the lake and get mauled by that boat. One more fish. If I can catch two fish today, that will not be a complete and utter bust. Dude, this has got to be the prettiest place I've ever fished. I've got to pee so bad. All right, I'm gonna attempt to pee off of this thing. So bad, dude. So bad. Yeah, it worked. I didn't flip. <laughs> and we both we both forgot our uh, our phones at at the at the dock, so we don't have any lights at all. I bet you that's half a mile at least, mile. I had one. He ran right at me. All I know is today, like I caught that fish, and then I was like, "Yeah, somebody asked about, uh, oh, one uh, like tips for fishing. Can you do a fishing tips video?" So then I started explaining drop shot tips, and then I realized I did a drop shot tips video three days ago. <laughs> and I was like, "Wait, I literally, I literally titled the video Drop Shot 101." Oh, we're dipping. All right, all right, John's calling it. We're we're just talking about how bad of a day the day was. All right, well. I'm not really sure where this video is going to end, but I'm going to keep my cameras rolling just in case I flip this yak, die in a hole, and you guys will never see this footage. Thanks for watching AP Bass, and if you want to watch more videos where I argue with people on planes, get kicked off planes, tell you guys how much I hate American Airlines, or complain about something else, you guys should stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. I'm 100% just kidding. If you guys want to enjoy some extremely great dry comedy, some fishing videos across the world, and me just being a complete and other dump, then you're going to want to stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. We'll catch you guys next time on AP Bassin'.